Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. If you uh, have no self-respect and uh, you are not showing a backbone, you are a weasel and you're not. You can't be the leader of the people. We have here a weasel. This is Zelensky. We know he's a weasel. He's a clown. And clown that uh, is doing, uh, playing his part very well, and it shows. And we have the so-called West, which in this case are the Europeans, not the United States. United States is the, okay? And this uh, article that I'm discussing here is between Zelensky and uh, the West, excluding the United States. And Zelensky dares to... Uh, actually uh, insult their um, courage. Th he insults their character, our leaders. So this guy from Ukraine that you've never heard about, what, one year and a half ago, he comes and tells you that your leaders are weasels for not doing what he wants them to do or what the big boss tells him to tell them what to do. So he is shaming that guy, Zelensky, a guy, the field marshal. He is shaming your leaders. So how do you feel about it? Because when he embarrasses your leaders and he calls them boldless, that guy, that guy, that insults you as well, your country by association. Because each and every prime minister or president that you have showing up in a meeting, he represents the country, represents you as well. So when you have another leader of a country, Mr. Zelensky in this case, calling these guys cowards if they don't do what he wants them to do, okay, then what? how do you feel about it? Remember, Zelensky is alive and in Ukraine doing what he's doing only because the West supports him. If tomorrow the West says, oh, you want to see your, vo your worth? Here it is. Unplug. He is done in a week. All right? But he dares to speak like that, insult you, your elected officials who represent your nation, your country, your history, your future generations. That guy who's in charge of the Ukrainian nation. I pick my words carefully. So, here you have it. Ukrainska pravda. Zelensky won't attend NATO summit if its leaders have lack of courage. End quote. So, he threatens these guys without whom he is a nobody. He's going to be done. That he's not going to attend if these guys don't do what he wants him, them to do. So, he wants, hey, you got to do this. Otherwise, I'm not going to even bother for you guys. Basically, uh, not basically, I think that's the exact interpretation of that headline. So much chutzpah here. But hey, let's also chutzpah. Let's go and uh, read uh, the article here. President Zelensky will personally come to Vilnius for the NATO summit only if Ukraine gets a satisfactory result. That is, I'm going to show up. I'm going to show up at the job interview. Only if I get the job. You either promise me I get the job or you. Hey, who's going to be starving? Me, but it's okay. You know, I have balls, you don't. And you need to show courage that you're going to hire me. Because if you don't hire me, you're a coward. Isn't that uh, narcissistic behavior? Really? It's like a sour grapes? So, I demand that you hire me which I don't even know if I deserve or not. And if you don't hire me, it's because you are cow a coward. Hey, who's knocking at whose door? I'm not certain who's... Is <laughs> you ask for a job, and but you tell them you got to hire me. Otherwise, you're ballless and you're dressed funny and so on. And those guys, let's see how the Western leaders are going to react. Yes. Is that okay, United States? Yeah, I'm doing right? Yeah. Yes. You we're going to do that. Yes, yes. United States is like, yeah. Okay. Not even the United States. Source, Ihor Zovka, deputy head of the office of the president and Zelensky's diplomatic advisor. 
I'm very curious who this guy is. In an interview with Reuters, as European Pravda uh, reports, probably if I uh, try to find him, I will uh, uh, not be able, obviously. But hey, let's see, maybe we can uh, find this guy. Uh, all right here, maybe we get him. Do we find him? Not much. This guy, all right. Okay, now we know. Let's go back. When asked what the minimum conditions are for Zelensky's presence at the... He has... He puts conditions. Can you believe this? He has nothing to offer than the Ukrainian nation's blood. He doesn't offer anything. He's doing just fine. Uh, and his... So what's his minimum condition? Zovka referred to his speech in the parliament like, hey, I'm not going to bother you. I'm just going to tell you here uh, what he said, where the Ukrainian leader spoke about the importance of courage in the modern world. If that would be about courage, you wouldn't be the president of anything if about courage. And Biden won't be either or many, many, many other Westerners. The president will not travel to the summit if the leaders. So this is the quote. So he didn't even bother. All right. He said, well, I refer you to that. Go and look for it because I'm your boss, actually. The president will not travel to the summit if the leaders will tend to or will show a deficit of courage, while Ukraine, with all its courage, will and strength and high morale, is fighting against Russian aggression. He said, for you. Yes, Ukrainians are fighting for you. So you pay up. We are your army. Details. He added that the president of Ukraine, and I'm quoting, does, doesn't have the reason and time to go. Excuse me. I want the job, but you know what? Um, I don't think I have time to do it. So why don't you just hire me because uh, I'm so good and I'll come and I promise you I'll do the job perfectly. And if you don't hire me and you don't agree to my conditions, uh, then you are just losers. But you have a company and I don't. But hey, that's a detail. My friends, my friends. So again, background. Uh, according to a Zelensky advisor, Ukraine is now closer to receiving an invitation than half a year ago. Invitation and you're at war with another country from a very, the very big by default. That cannot happen. But you want to break the laws. You break the rules. That's how you lead. Breaking the laws and the laws. Is that a, uh, the rules? Is that a good example? Is that a good example? So Zelensky said, uh, we want to be in NATO, but we will not meet all the requirements, but we want an invitation, but we are at war. But you know what? You have to ban that like we do here in Ukraine. Hey, that's a law. That's all right. Go and arrest them and tell them they collaborated with the Russians. Hey, uh, this guy is talking too much. I think he's just a Russian propagandist. Uh, fire, uh, not fire. Uh, arrest Mr. Gonzalo Lira right now. It's okay. Hey, those guys are over there probably doing hamanky panky Okay, ban that. Uh, uh, how's that? Uh, Russian Orthodox... Mm, denomination in Ukraine. Hey, these guys are against me. Ban their parties. Hey, these guys are not saying in the media what I want them to say. Ban them. Hey, all the media is under me, under the government right now. Hey, by the way, the minorities, you can't use your language anymore. You have to use Ukraine. Hey, I don't care. Anyway, and this is the guy. Who does that? A mafia boss. And he tells the European, oh, freedom, democracy, let me drink my tea. Mm -hmm. Okay, these guys, these guys tells them like that. But he wouldn't do that without the Americans. He would be out, out in the cold. I'm wondering, when do you have self-respect? Uh, they don't have, you know why? Because they're politicians. And in a democracy, you should just be, I don't know, peed on, on your face, and say, thank you, just vote for me. And next one, oh, that's a golden shower, thank you very much. Ah, oh, boo, yes, just vote for me, thank you very much. Oh, it's my daughter over there, it's okay, just do it right, okay, just vote for me. That's what it, the mass democracy. Those guys should not even return from that NATO meeting. They should not come home at each uh, whatever base or country. They should not. But we live in this kind of society, this kind of garbage. 
anyway man it's a farce thank you very much for being with me again today and i wonder why this works only for zelensky why doesn't that work for me or for you i mean right <laughs> i know i know i'm delusional but i had to ask the question stay strong stay smart look for the truth and be just